Hello, and welcome to the ACCA Quality Assured RSI Contractor Program. This is the first of three sessions introducing the program to those contractors that are dedicated to performing quality work and want to set themselves apart from their competition. This session will provide historical context behind the RSI Contractor Accreditation Program, provide a high-level overview of the program itself, and review the connection between RSI and the Energy Star Verified HVAC Installation Program, commonly referred to as ESVI. By way of introduction, ACCA is the organization that has developed the contractor accreditation we are about to review. ACCA serves professional HVAC contractors by focusing on the technical, educational, legislative, and regulatory interests of its members. You don't have to be a member in order to participate in the RSI program. But if you'd like to learn more about joining or renewing your membership, visit acca.org. The Residential Services and Installation, or RSI, Contractor Accreditation has a simple mission. Identify quality contractors and quality HVAC system installations. It doesn't matter how big or small your company is. It doesn't matter what brand of equipment you install. It only matters that you operate a professional business that provides quality work. To be clear, ACCA is a trade association and it sponsors contractor accreditation. The Quality Assured, or QA program, is the contractor accreditation. You must apply and meet minimum requirements to become accredited. And installations that you designate or your customer requests that meet the ACCA 5 QI standard. Before we discuss the QA program in more details, it can be helpful to understand some historical context. For decades, ACCA has been an industry leader that develops and maintains a number of manuals, guides, and standards. Three prime examples are manual J, D, and S, which are referenced in codes as minimum requirements. Supportive or complementary guides and standards have also been developed. Starting back in 2004, the ACCA Board of Directors noted a number of additional challenges facing the industry. The first challenge is what passes for competence. In the 1950s, when HVAC was a novelty, engineers designed systems and supervised their installation. As the industry grew and HVAC contracting became a trade unto itself, rules of thumb that once served as only a placeholder until further calculations could be performed were transformed into the rule. And because no one has complained, it must be okay. The tradesmen that worked on these projects became familiar with some abbreviated processes. So back in the 1950s, 500 square foot a ton might have been a good number to eyeball a proposal. And a cold suction line might have served as an indicator that the system had enough refrigerant to move on to elements of the installation while the system reached a steady state and the charge could be further refined. And there were others. Next, there have been many proposed technology solutions to fix the HVAC industry. All of these technologies do have benefits, but they also focus on only one aspect of a multi-part system. All of these solutions have advantages, but none of these alone can fix the HVAC system installation. A holistic solution is needed. You see, there's only one major element that is missing, the professional HVAC contractor. Because an HVAC system is different than a refrigerator, you must do more than deliver it and plug it in. It takes artistry and it takes professional expertise to properly design and install an HVAC system. And there are other challenges. Consumers often view HVAC systems as another appliance, as we just mentioned. They think you buy it and plug it in. The science behind proper design the importance of installation expertise, and the implications of the air or water distribution features are completely foreign to most consumers. Most believe that because they are paying thousands of dollars, they're gonna get that anyway. Then there's the fact that very few people save up for a new air conditioner or furnace. It is usually an unexpected or unplanned event. Another challenge is that there are many good contractors out there doing great work, they're just outnumbered by the ones who think they're doing a good job and 
by those who are bottom feeding based on the cheapest, sloppiest installation possible. And let's be honest, we don't make it easy for consumers either. Consumers are awash in information, comparing different brands, different equipment within each brand, and with all the bells and whistles that come with the new installation. They just assume that whatever they buy is going to be installed correctly. Surely, if they're spending these thousands of dollars, they're going to get a quality installation. And why wouldn't they? Every contractor is going to say they do a good job. And customers are more often concerned with whether the contractor shows up and finishes on time and doesn't leave a mess. They don't have a way to know if the equipment is going to be installed correctly. And they are skeptical if a contractor tries to explain that their work is of a higher quality. So taking a step back to the historical challenges facing the HVAC industry, the identification of these challenges was a first step on a systematic, deliberate journey. The next step was for ACCA and the industry to draft a document that would define the minimum requirements for a quality installation. In 2005, the HVAC industry began to work on a document to consolidate the elements that would make a quality HVAC system installation. Representatives from manufacturers, distributors, utilities, energy efficiency groups, and HVAC contractors all assembled to gather the essential portions of the manufacturer's instructions, code requirements, and good industry practices. This presentation is not a review of the standard, but you are welcome to download a free PDF copy at www.acca.org forward slash quality. The document was completed and recognized as an American national standard in 2007. This is the standard. It's not what I want, or what bureaucrats want, or what some green group wants. It's the industry developed standard. If you have questions, this is the source. If you have concerns, let them be known. The standard will not get better if you remain quiet. Why? Because the standard is maintained and updated on a regular schedule. Industry input, and that means you, is critical in continuing to maintain and improve the standard going forward. Now that a benchmark for a quality installation had been established in ACCA QI5, how does a company manager or a third-party program know that the system was properly installed and met the QI protocols? That led to the next step. The protocols to verify a quality installation. They were developed by an equally broad co coalition of HVAC industry representatives. It became an American national standard in 2009. Not surprisingly, the RSI contractor accreditation draws heavily from this standard to promote quality installations. Then, in 2011, in support of the Energy Star Certified Homes Program, ACCA developed and launched the Quality Assured Program to accredit HVAC contractors qualified to meet Energy Star program requirements. This program allowed ACCA to establish a foundation for future accrediting efforts. Verification processes, contractor compliance visits, and documentation requirements were developed and refined. Based on the success of the QA New Homes program and the desire to reach the market with the most to gain from a national product, ACCA launched a different accreditation for RSI contractors in 2013. The Residential Service and Installation Program was developed for the existing home HVAC replacement market. The mission of the RSI program is to accredit quality contractors who work in the existing home market and identify quality HVAC system installations when they are submitted for review. So that is a very brief history of how the RSI program came into being. But before we begin to discuss the RSI program fundamentals, let's summarize and clarify some terminology. Accreditation is for the business and is based on quality assured requirements. Certification, on the other hand, is for a person, like a technician or an accountant or a physician. Certification travels with the individual so, if a NATE certified technician leaves the company, so does the certification. An accreditation, however, lasts as long as the business meets minimum requirements. Employees may come and go, but companies remain accredited as long as the requirements are met. And, as a reminder, ACCA is a trade association 
and it had also developed and launched the RSI Contractor Accreditation Program. ACCA membership is not required to participate in the RSI program. They have separate fees and minimum requirements. There are two main portions of the RSI program, to accredit contractor companies and to evaluate specific HVAC system installations that accredited companies choose to submit for verification. First, to accredit quality contractors that are professional businesses with policies and procedures to address business operations, training and certification, and customer relations. These are spelled out in the ACCA 5 QI standard in Appendix C, the QA contractor elements. To assist contractors in enrolling, ACCA has a template policy manual for accredited contractors to use. The template can be edited to conform to each business's unique characteristics. These resources and more can be found at acca.org forward slash QA forward slash resources. Second, to recognize or identify quality HVAC system installations. Not every HVAC system installation will meet the QI5 standard. We understand that. But when you do a good job and would like a third party to attest to that, the RSI program is happy to oblige. So let's take a moment to discuss what qualifies as a quality installation. An HVAC system that meets the QI standard is not your typical installation. It really should be, but it's usually not. Designing an HVAC system remains the same. The heating and cooling loads are calculated according to Manual J, and equipment selection made according to Manual S, as required by code in most jurisdictions. More and more contractors ensure their technicians check the airflow and electrical measurements to make sure they're consistent with the design and the manufacturer's specifications. And depending on the type of system you're installing, the refrigerant charge and or the combustion appliances are operating properly. And remember, this is the quality installation of the system, not just part of the system. So it goes a bit further, ensuring the distribution system is tested as meeting specified tolerances. Finally, all the records and measurements are archived to demonstrate the standard was met and for future reference. The records and measurements associated with a QI project are identified in the checklist in QIVP9, Appendix A. But who loves filling out a checklist? Nobody. So to make it easier for you to collect the information and check that your installation complies to the QI standard, ACCA has developed the QI mobile app. The mobile app has several different functions and benefits, which will be discussed in more detail in the next session. But the highlights are, it provides an easy way to collect and archive legible records. It provides feedback to designers, installers, and managers, almost like a digital assistant installation manager that automatically reviews all the information and identifies installations that meet the QI5 standards minimum requirements. So don't just think of this as a tool for reporting compliance to ACCA or anyone else. Think of this as a resource to help your designers and installers as they perform work. And it's also a resource to help your company maintain consistency for your crews, reduce the likelihood of callbacks and warranty claims, and to ensure the best experience for your customers. And so let's take another look at the QA program history. That brings us up to recent events. The QA program was the first organization in the country to be recognized as an Energy Star Verified Installation Program Sponsor. The Energy Star Verified Installation, or ESVI program, was created to turn attention to the installation. The ESVI objectives include educating homeowners when they were replacing their HVAC system, building awareness of the importance of quality installation among homeowners when making a purchasing decision, and supporting HVAC contractors who promote properly installed HVAC systems. This includes helping them differentiate their businesses from other contractors who may sell the same equipment but take shortcuts when installing those systems. ESVI will pick up where the others have left off. DOE and Energy Star have set equipment efficiency levels, and manufacturers have responded. They've built some very efficient equipment. But then, 
that equipment size was not always selected properly or installed correctly. Additionally, some high efficiency units are connected to either leaky and or undersized duct systems, seriously compromising the potential comfort and efficiency benefits of the new equipment. And many utilities hinge their efforts on Energy Star equipment replacements, ignoring the additional design and installation requirements. Now the HVAC industry has a way to verify the equipment efficiency claims, and ESVI will recognize installations that meet the QI standard. So how does it work? Contractors report key design and installation data associated with a quality installation to ACCA. ACCA then will verify the reported design and installation measurements meet the QI5 tolerances using the ACCA QI mobile app. And if all the tolerances are met, then the contractor is sent the ESVI certificate. To support this effort, Energy Star has a new website, new handouts, and a new logo. As one of the many benefits of participating in ACCA's sponsored ESVI program, when you are accredited as an RSI contractor, you will gain access to open your own My Energy Star account, otherwise known as MESA. There, you can access the resources that include Energy Star logos and the co-brandable sales and marketing material. So this has been a look at contractor accreditation history, some basics of the RSI program, and some basics of the Energy Star Verified HVAC Installation Program. I hope you join us for session two to learn more about the quality installation and the ACCA QI mobile app.